Hi everyone and welcome back to the Crafty Yellow Camper and I just wanted to do a very quick unboxing video for you um, with some of the new bits that I've been able to get as a demonstrator a bit early before the new annual catalogue goes live. I'm allowed to show you the front of the catalogue and I'm allowed to show you the back of the catalogue but I'm not allowed to show you inside the catalogue until after the 4th of May but I think I'll be absolutely fine in showing you some of the bits and pieces that I've bought to get me going so um one of the things that's happening is that we're having what's called a color refresh every year we get a new set of in colors which are the five colors that we have two sets of running side by side all of the time so each year a new set is bought out and then um, a set retires so the set that's going to be retiring this time are the ones that include Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, uh, Polished Pink and Fresh Freesia. Those are the five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, those are the five that are retiring. There's a buck coming. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and then I'll talk you through the new colours. Now, something I need to tell you is that when I put my pre-order in, on the day that pre-order went live, I was full of cold and wasn't really thinking straight and I messed my order up and didn't order the new in colour ink pads. So I'm afraid I haven't got those to show you today but what I can show you are the marker pens and the cardstock. Um, I'm hoping that the ink pads are going to be on their way to me soon. As soon as I realised my mistake a couple of days later um, I put another order in for them but they haven't arrived yet so I'm going to show you the pens and hopefully you will be able to see so these are the five new colors that are going to replace those ones that are retiring um, and we have some new style pens as well so i just want a couple of things that i wanted to point out to you if you've not used these before or maybe you haven't but you didn't know so one of the things i wanted to point out is that they are dual tip markers so one end is a brush tip and one end is a fine nib a 0.5 mil nib and to make it easy for you to remember which end is which, there is a picture. But if you've got the pen the wrong way round, there are lines on each end of the pen. So the thicker line is for the brush tip and the thinner line is for the um, fine tip. Just to make things easier for you. OK, they also do have their names on them. So if I bring this up, you can see this one's called Moody Mauve. So these are the five new ink colours. We have Moody Mauve. Copper Clay, Boho Blue, which you were all given a little bit of a sneak peek of that one with the celebration joining offer and the mini cut and emboss machine was available in Boho Blue during celebration for a short time. This one is called Pebbled Path and this one is called Wild Wheat. The other thing you might also notice is that all of our ink colours the have matching letters in their names. So Mo Moody Mauve, Wild Wheat, Boho Blue. There is a proper name for that and I can never remember what it's called. So those of you that are shouting at the camera going, yes, that's called or whatever. Thank you, but I can never remember. So those are the five new colours. OK, we've also had a little bit of a refresh on our stamp and write markers. And I just want to show you this. So I'm going to bring in an old black one. So again, we've got the thick line and the thin line, the brush marker and the fine tip. But what they've actually done is they've changed the ends a bit. So this is the fine tip end on a new pen on my pebbled path. And this is the fine tip end on my old pen. So I don't know if you can see that. This one's got less of a nib because this piece is plastic, whereas this is all nib. And sometimes I used to find that these ends were a little bit, the fine ends were a little bit scratchy. So the new pens are much easier to write with if I just pull over a piece here so this is the new pen so much more inky and this is the old pen side by side it's a little thinner a little bit more scratchy even though they're supposedly still the same fine width um let's pop that on always click them on make sure and then the brush tip end I think is pretty much yeah, that's pretty much the same, except for on the old pen, there's more plastic than there is on the new pen. Okay, but the actual writing style, so this is the thicker one in an old one, and this is the thicker one in a new one. So they're exactly the same. Make sure I put the right, uh, right lids on the right pens would help, wouldn't it? 
Ah, no, you can see I'm putting the wrong one on there because it won't fit. So that's interesting to know that the the lids from the old pens don't fit on the new pens. Okay, so those are the five stamp and write markers. So I'll just give you a little scribble of the colours. So, so this one's copper clay. This one is wild wheat. This one is boho blue. This one is moody mauve. And this one is pebbled path, which we've already used, but just for comparison. Okay, so that's those five colours. If I hold that up, hopefully you can see that. Colours don't always translate well onto film, but so copper clay, wild wheat, boho blue, moody mauve, pebbled path. So some really nice colours there. We are losing um, several of our existing colours in the colour refresh. But there are some extra colours coming and I will just show you those in two seconds. OK, so I'll leave that there. So and then um, there is obviously the cardstock. So I've opened the cardstock. You can buy a combined in colours pack if you want to try out the colours before you actually buy a whole pack of each colour. So this is boho blue. You get four sheets of each in the combined pack. So there's 20 sheets five fours of 20 so that's the boho blue that's the wild wheat it's a sort of a almost a sort of a, a, a metallic sort of yellowy green this is the moody mauve which is sort of a pinky pinky mauve actually let's pull out a sheet of each so that's the boho blue that's the wild oh sorry wild wheat this is the moody mauve Oh, that's copper clay. That's, oh my goodness me, I'm knocking the camera. And that one is pebbled path. So we've got a sort of a brownie grey, an almost coppery colour, hence the name, copper clay. Um, the mauve, the pinky mauve, moody mauve, the white wild wheat, which is that almost sort of metallic-y, almost like a chartreuse colour, a greeny yellow, and then the boho blue. So I'm going to leave those there because I want to show you some of the newer, the other new colours as well. So during the colour refresh, we have got some colours that are returning to us that we have had before. Um, you can buy all the core colours in a pack. So they're, those core colour packs, that includes the returning colours and it includes the new to us colours. So let's just have a look at those. So returning is blueberry bushel, and that was previously in in colour. Also returning is berry burst, that was an in colour. From the retiring five in colours, we're keeping fresh freesia, which is really nice. We are keeping, oh, returning lost lagoon, and that was an in colour quite a long time ago. Um, pretty peacock was an in colour, that's returning. That's not so long ago. And Misty Moonlight is a returning in colour. And I've got a feeling that Misty Moonlight and Pretty Peacock may well have been in the same set of in colours. And Lemon Lime Twist is a previous in colour that is returning. Now, I do actually have all of those in old ink pads, which will give you an idea. So Fresh Freesia is a more modern ink pad. Berry Burst is an older one. Blueberry Bushel is a more modern one. Lemon Line Twist is one of the older pads. Misty Moonlight and Pretty Peacock are both the newer pads, which is what makes me think they haven't long been an in colour, whereas Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Twist are the old style pads. So that's from a while ago. Okay, so those are the returning colours. And then to add to those... These are new to us colours. So we have got Bubble Bath, which is a really nice baby pink, if you like. We've, we've needed a, a proper baby pink for a little while. Um, I, I, Blushing Bride is definitely retiring, and I'm not sure if Flirty Flamingo is as well. Let me just have a quick check in the new catalogue, which obviously I can't show you, but um, we've got the colours. So... Um, 
No, Petal Pink is staying. Oh, Flirty Flamingo is staying. But we're losing Blushing Bride. So the bubble bath is going to be a, it's sort of it's more of a proper pink, whereas those are more matte pinks, if you like. So that's going to work really nicely with. I'm just going to sorry, I'm just trying to balance the catalogue so I can see it in case we've got any more queries. So you, we've got Fresh Freesia and Bubble Bath are going to work really nicely together. And also the Berry Burst, that's going to give us a nice range of sort of pinky purpley colours. So they're all going to work nicely together. Another new colour that we've got is Lemon Lolly, which again is a nice proper yellow because we are losing, um, we are losing So Saffron which I know some people are a little bit on the fence about that, but I actually quite like that colour. I've used that a lot. And we're keeping Daffodil Delight and we're keeping Crushed Curry. But I think we are losing another... There's a little bit of Lemon Lolly cardstock for you. We're losing Crushed Curry, we're keeping Daffodil Delight. No, sorry, we're keeping Crushed Curry, Daffodil Delight, losing So Saffron. And I think we might be losing Mango Melody and Pumpkin Pie. Oh my goodness. Yes, it looks like we're losing both of those. We're keeping Calypso Coral. But yeah, it looks like we're losing Mango Melody and Pumpkin Pie as well. Okay, so that's sort of some of our yellows really. So we've got the Lemon Lolly coming in. And that's going to work quite nicely with... Um, it does actually go with Lemon Lime Twist, okay? But that's going to work really nicely with Daffodil Delight um, that we're keeping. And Crush Curry, to be fair. Okay, so that's another one there. Another new one we've got coming in is this Azure Afternoon. So they're not all named after foodstuffs, although a lot of them are. Um, Azure Afternoon, we are losing Pacific Point. We're keeping Night of Navy. I think there'd be a riot if they tried to take Night of Navy away. We're losing Pacific Point, Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. We're keeping Pool Party and Balmy Blue. But um, And obviously we've still got Tahitian Tide from last year's in colours as a proper blue so I think um, if I pull out my Tahitian Tide hopefully you'll be able to see it'll be quite a nice contrast I feel so that's the Tahitian Tide which is last year's in colour and this is the Azure Afternoon so it's not as dark as um, Pacific Point it's more blue than greeny than Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana um, but it'll also, I mean, it'll work nicely with Tahitian Tide and it'll work nicely with Blueberry Bushel and Night of Navy. And I think we can bring in Misty Moonlight. So we've got sort of a range. So we've got Misty Moonlight is quite dark. Night of Navy obviously is even darker. Blueberry Bushel and then Azure Afternoon and Tahitian Tide um, work really nicely together. But I think they'll also work nicely with Pretty Peacock as well. So I'll put my Tahitian tied back so I know where it is. So that's another new one. And then the other new to us one we've got is this one called Pecan Pie. We are losing Soft Suede. We are keeping on the browns. We are keeping Early Espresso, which is the really dark brown. We're losing Soft Suede, which is the next one up from that. We're keeping Crumb Cake and we're losing Sahara Sand. But we are getting this pecan pie. So Sahara Sand is one of our, well, it is the palest of our browns that we currently have. But we are gaining pecan pie and we are also gaining pebble path. So we're losing a really, really pale um, brown, but we're gaining a, a mid brown and a dark brown into the mix. And I think, I don't, I mean, I do use Sahara Sand quite a lot, but I think most people tend to stick for crumb cake as their paler one. Anyway, so that's those ones. Oh, and there is a return. Oh, no, I forgot to, uh, I did tell you, didn't I, about Lost Lagoon? Yes. Um, Lost Lagoon, I've actually got in an old ink pad as well. So I think that that is um, quite an old one. Now, something else I wanted to say to you, and the reason that I've got um, some new ink pads 
is that the inks change over time every now and again so that the reinkers that you might have had for a, say an old star pad like this one lemon lime twist it's not a good idea to use the reinkers for a really old pad because the mix the recipe if you like for the reinkers changes over time so a reinker that was bought at the same time as this lemon lime twist ink pad may not work so well on what I've done with it now this lemon lime pad so just bear that in mind if you're looking and thinking oh well I've got all of those and I've got the ring because I don't need a new pad just be mindful of the fact that it may not always work if you've got the old pad and the old reinker, technically it should work, but don't think, oh, well, I've got that old pad, it just needs reinking, I'll just buy a new reinker, because the formulas have changed over the years and it may not, may not have the desired result. Okay, so as I said, that's the colour refresh. So we've got five, I think it was five new colours, six returning, one, two, three, four, five, six returning, no, seven returning including Lost Lagoon, seven returning, and then Bubble Bath, Pecan Pie, Lemon Lolly, and Azure Afternoon. So four new to us colours, as well as the five in colours. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven returning colours so all told we have got 11 new colours coming in plus the five new in colours so 16 new colours and um, obviously those colours will be reflected that's quite a stack look those colours will be reflected in um, the new DSPs as well that are coming out so as I said before you can buy these returning colours and the new colours as a core colour pack and it actually saves you just over 10% to buy them all together. So if you haven't got any of them and you like them, um, that would be my recommendation when the catalogue goes live. The other alternative is obviously if you want to become a demonstrator, I'd be more than happy to have you sign up through me if you're in the UK. And um, that gives you the opportunity to access things early. So usually a month early, we're able to get a pre-order on new goodies coming through. We get to see the catalogues about a month early and um, maybe a bit more actually than a month early. And we get to pre-order a bit early. So there's the colours. So I just wanted to quickly show you some new stamp sets that I've got. I'm just going to move that catalogue and those colours out of the way. And you'll be seeing me make some things with these in um, the future. So the first one I wanted to show you is this Cheerful Daisy stamp set. I absolutely love daisies, so I'm really pleased this has come out. Um, so this is the stamp set and it's a two-part stamp set. So you've got the outline image and then you've got the fill-in sections for those. Um, you've got the middle for the big daisy and a middle for the smaller one. Um, there as well and then these are the dies and they've done what they always do they've given us the outline dies for the two three different daisies but then they've given us a textured inner die as well so you can layer them up there's also this nice die here which is actually the three daisies all on one so if you wanted to cut a background and then add texture using colors paper what have you you could cut this from your cardstock and then add some color on the top we've also got this really nice sort of filigree leaf um, a stem and some other leaves this this three together has actually got some leaves on it as well which is really nice and then we've got this cute little tag as well with some stitching around the edge which is really lovely so that's those and there are papers as well but obviously i have to stop at some point um, another new one that I've got is this one called Beautiful Balloons. I think this is going to be really great for sort of intergenerational young people, old people, men, women, what have you. Um, and balloons aren't just for birthdays. So you've got several different um, sentiments there and some sort of streamers and confetti bits and some tassels. And then these are the dies that goes go with those. Um, I haven't seen anybody demonstrating these yet. So again, there's one that will cut all three balloons out and then you've got the smaller outline balloons as well if you wanted to, to do a background in a colour and then layer up in another colour. You've got a really nice tag, a couple of sizes of stars, some sort of little 
this is one of the dies that cuts out from the paper but doesn't cut the shape out so it just cuts the little stars and little confetti pieces out of a piece of card and then this is the tassel but you've also got the outside die for the tassel that's on the stamp set um, and this is what's exciting me now. I haven't had a chance to play with this yet, but I will do. And I think that this is to make a 3D tassel. Okay, so I'll be interested to play with that. Okay, and then the third new set that I bought is this Beauty of the Deep. Um, we, as demonstrators, we get given a selection of stamp sets that we can choose from in the pre-order, not, not the entire catalogue on the main annual catalogue. Um, but this really caught my eye because I think it's a really nice, useful stamp set and will pair with some of the other stamp sets that I've got really well as well. So um, we've got some seaweeds and an anchor and a couple of fish and a little sea urchin down there. And then these are the dies that go with them. So you've got the outline dies for all the stamped shapes um, and then you've got this die to cut seaweed and another little one there. And another one there so as well as the outline dies for the stamped images so I think that's going to be really useful and one of the things that I did also get in this order because I hadn't already bought it Seaside Bay which was in the spring catalogue is carrying over onto the annual catalogue and I didn't actually get a chance to get it so now that I know that it's carrying over I've got that which got this lovely little it's almost like an avocet and these little ones here some shells and some crabs and then the dies for this you get the die that cuts the 3d um clamshell out and there are the um flat backed adhesive pearls are carrying over as well to go with this set which is really nice sadly the papers aren't i did manage to get a pack of papers as well um, but they aren't carrying over just the stamp set and dies um, and then there's this really nice border die and I think that these Seaside Bay and the Beauty of the Deep will work quite nicely together for making some different cards um, because obviously you could use the clamshell under the sea with the seaweeds the crab and I like that there's these little pieces of sort of splatter as well in this Seaside Bay stamp set and one there with shells on and again that would work really well with the seaweed so I'm pleased with those move those out of the way and then the other one that I bought is um Petal Park which I again was in the spring seasonal but I didn't get a chance to purchase that um but that is carrying over so I've gone ahead and got that and that also goes with this punch which punches out these flowers so that you can layer them up and do some nice things with that okay so that's everything that was in my my box um from my first order and hopefully i'll be able to post some cards using some of these new to me sets i've also got another couple of sets that are going over that i bought from the spring season or that i haven't had a chance to play with yet either one of those is the um the one with the little glow bug oh, i can't think what it's called now I can't lay my hands on it right at the moment, but that's also carrying over. So I'll be playing with some of those shortly. OK, thanks for listening to me waffle on. If, you, if there's anything you'd like to order and you don't have a demonstrator and you're in the UK and you'd like to order through me, um, I'd be happy to, to place your order for you. And don't forget, there are still some of the online exclusives which won't show in the catalogue, but are available online. You can also order those through me if you want to. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.